Hey guys, I'm back after a long hiatus. I actually was in Utah filming a bunch of online courses that I'm super, super excited to be able to launch and announce and share with you guys in the coming weeks, so that is great. I'm going to talk to you guys today about a topic that I actually just wrote about for my business2community.com profile, which is something all of us entrepreneurs are all too familiar with, the imposter syndrome. I say that with a smiling face because the imposter syndrome is terrible and I feel like it keeps so many people from becoming entrepreneurs every day for fear of failure or feeling like an imposter. Disclaimer for people who do not know the imposter syndrome, it is not actually a mental syndrome that you can get treatment for. It's more so this like pop culture term that describes a phenomenon new business owners and entrepreneurs feel today. So, like I just said, the imposter syndrome is when you feel like an imposter in what you are doing. Let's say you're a new freelancer. You feel like you are scamming the people who are paying for your services or you are engaging in fraudulent activity because you're not actually the expert that you say you are. This is that like little voice in the back of our head that can kind of start to do this negative self-talk when we start something new. You're going to fail. You're not good at this. Everyone's going to know you're not good at this you're faking it, everyone knows you're faking it till you make it, it's so embarrassing, they're gonna tell their friends, they're gonna tell their mom, like these are all the things that go through your head. And that's what causes so many people to never try anything new. They just end up staying at a job they hate, they end up in a relationship they hate, they end up with friends they don't like. They don't make change in their life because they're afraid of feeling this imposter feeling. Now, it's especially bad when you're a business owner because there's no boss above you anymore. There's no coworkers to share your feelings with. There's nothing. There's just you, which means since you're where the buck stops, you know, you're the business owner, or whatever, you're the number one imposter in charge. You're the number one fraudulent person that's kind of pulling a fast one on people. When I do this, I'm saying like, these are the little things the voices in your head say to you. We've all been there. I've been there. It's especially bad in women because we don't have natural ego and a lot of women aren't raised in that kind of take what's yours and burn the ground type of upbringing. And that's why so many women will feel this imposter syndrome feeling and end up quitting or not even trying to get into business at all, which is why there's not that many women as business owners today and that's too bad and that is why I like to talk about this topic I like to be transparent about it because I'm a woman in business I've overcome it I have felt it it has almost stopped me and that's why I want to make sure anyone watching this doesn't let it stop you too so I want to just challenge everyone to think about something really quickly think about your favorite billionaire in the world whether it's Elon Musk I don't know there's so many billionaires JK Rowling Donald Trump whoever Think about who your favorite billionaire is and think about how they had to do something to become a billionaire. Meaning for most of them, they were not born billionaires. They had to create that wealth, which means they had to foray into a new market that they were unfamiliar with. They had to fake it till they made it. In order to start out in any business industry, there is always going to be some element of faking it until you make it. That's part of being in business. You have to learn from experience. The only way to get experience is to offer the service to people in the first place. All of these billionaires felt that exact same feeling you are feeling. So don't think, oh, I'm weak or oh, this is only happening to me. No, that happens to everyone. The people who are successful today are the ones who learn to look that imposter syndrome in the face and say, no, you're wrong. You're just trying to make me feel bad. I'm not going to listen to you. The most successful people in the world today have mastered the art of saying, of shutting down that negative self-talk and of not ever allowing it to have any hold on their life. I know for me personally, I was feeling that imposter syndrome really badly when I first started out freelance writing. I had pretty amicable clients for a few months until I got this one guy in Florida who was probably mentally unstable in some capacity, but he bought a lot of writing from me and was super nice to me. You know, he was very like, oh, you're the best, you're the best. And then one day I sign on and, and he's like written this scathing thing saying, um, I, I should have known hiring a 22 year old what I was getting myself into. This is the worst writing I've ever read in my life. You have no business being on here. He said like some really mean things and he like flipped out in like 14 paragraphs about it. Now at 22, brand new to the world of freelancing, like I was not 
where I am today. Like I was not equipped to handle that the same way I am today. And it made me second guess everything. I was like, this guy's right. I've been outed. Who do I think I am trying to sell writing on Fiverr? I don't have a special journalism degree. I'm lying to people. This guy figured it out. He's right. I should quit. Thank God I didn't quit because, you know, I, I stuck with it. I don't quit things, I think, which is what helped me. But it took a few days. I had, you know, I was like, you know what? I need to shift my mindset on this. This guy felt this way about my writing, but what about the 20 other people who said really nice things about my writing this week? You know, you can choose to see the one bad or you can choose to see the 20 good. We oftentimes choose to see the one bad because it's just the more dramatic thing that's happening. But I slowly started to tell myself, you know, not everyone's gonna like my writing, that's okay. Not everyone is gonna like my communication style. That's okay. Part of being a business owner and a freelancer is realizing you're never gonna make everyone happy. When you start to actually realize that, it sets you free because you realize, okay, let's say in a given 20 clients, one or two of them is going to despise my work. If you already know that, every three days when you hit your 20th client and if someone has a problem with your work, you won't take it so personally. So I hope this has been motivational for people watching this. I hope if you're experiencing the imposter syndrome, this video has been kind of what you've been looking to watch to convince you that it's not something you should allow to control your life. We have all been there. I've, I've faked it till I made it like 40 times in my life and I probably do it another 50 times. Each time you get over it, it makes you stronger. It has less of a hold on you. You just need to look at it and go, no, you know, you're that voice in the back of my head. You're my negative subconscious. You're trying to stop me. You're all the criticisms and the bullying and everything that's happened in my life manifesting in this voice in the back of my head and literally just banish it. Say, get out of here. Stop it. You're not true. Um, there's always an element of learning in everything you do. You're going to mess up. People are not going to like your writing or whatever it is you offer from time to time. Don't take it personally. The imposter syndrome has been studied by every psychologist for the last 40 years. It's a very real feeling. And the first time you feel it is the worst. And when you get over it the first time, it'll never feel that bad again. So I want you to remember that. And if you guys are still struggling with the imposter syndrome, please feel free to always you know, reach out to me. Send me a message on here, down below. Write to me on Instagram. Write to me on TikTok. Hopefully if they don't um, ban it in the US, this video might not age well with that. but write to me about it. Uh, sometimes saying out loud, hey, I'm feeling the imposter syndrome, you know, kind of might get some weight off of your chest if you're not keeping it inside the whole time being like, oh my God, they all know I'm an imposter. Uh, just say it out loud. Be like, yeah, I'm feeling like I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, say it to your best friend or whoever. Say it to someone in your life who supports you, just like vocalizing. You'll feel so much better and just know that every single person on the planet who has done anything worthwhile has felt this feeling. You are not alone. That's my pump up speech for today. I feel like I should have like Rocky music playing in the background. Uh, maybe as I get better at making these videos, I'll figure out how to edit things into them. <laughs> so yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts below. Tell me if you like this video. Uh, tell me what other videos you want me to do. I'll definitely be doing some stuff to promo my online courses that are coming. I have some unbelievable imagery and whatnot to share with you all. And yeah, so I hope everyone is killing it. Tell the imposter syndrome to take a hike and keep running your race. Bye.